by 2030, when most countries will have already signed petitions to stop the production of gas-powered vehicles, every car manufacturer will have to transition to electric in order to sell cars. And personally, I think more or less with electric vehicles, future concepts are gonna get boring. Unless, of course, the EV toll future becomes a reality. A prime example of this was earlier in 2022, when Bugatti stated at the unveiling of the $5 million Mistral that that car was going to be the last 16-cylinder W16 engine the car manufacturer would ever make. And although no news from Bugatti about any electric vehicles or EV toll future, still an example of how vehicles are changing. And so if you believe the hype surrounding EV tolls, flying taxis, and flying cars, then the not so distant electric future is definitely not boring. Anyway, in this video, we are taking a look at three supercar manufacturer brands that do not only want to green light the EV toll flying car future, but want to enter the game and stand out among the rest. But before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get it. So the first car manufacturer we're talking about today is Rolls-Royce. We all know Rolls-Royce has a strong reputation for building fine automobiles. In addition to building luxury autos, Rolls-Royce has an aeronautics division that has been designing airplane engines since before the First World War. While the automotive side of the business hasn't expressed any interest in the VTOL market, the aeronautics division has and released a concept design in 2018. The concept aircraft is capable of carrying people, cargo, or both, with an impressive range of over 500 miles. The aircraft uses electric motors powered by gas turbines that give the vehicle a top speed of 250 miles per hour. Rolls-Royce has been working with some aeronautical engineers to bring their design to life. In March 2019, Rolls-Royce teamed up with Bell to combine the car company's enterprise with Bell VTOL technology to develop vertical takeoff passenger vehicles. The updated designs were safer and more affordable than any previous engines, which actually helped the VTOL market even further. Rolls-Royce actually also worked with Airbus to develop the propulsion system for the city bus, which is Airbus's EV toll concept, which had its maiden flight in December of 2019. The city Airbus was designed to carry four passengers at a time. The electric multi-copter was a major step forward in the VTOL market, as promoting efficient, environmentally friendly transportation was huge coming from an actual aircraft manufacturer that produces most of the world's commercial airliners. As exciting as it is for the Rolls-Royce VTOL, it's probably going to be a while before we see a working model. Rolls-Royce has worked with some aeronautical engineers to bring the design to life, but due to considerations that have to be made and the whole world signing off on electric VTOL flying taxis or flying cars, the process has understandably been taken a lot longer. But the fact that we know that one of the biggest car manufacturers and producers of airplane engines is on board with the EVTOL future is definitely something to look forward to. The next supercar manufacturer we are taking a look at is Porsche, who actually teamed up with Boeing to explore whether or not there would be a market for flying taxis, although the two partners had their work cut out for them. Probably the biggest hurdle the two had was what luxury with EV toll taxis would look like, considering Porsche designs a well-fine-tuned luxury vehicle, and if they were to step into the EV toll flying taxi, flying car feature, they would definitely need to stand out. Well, given the pictures we've seen so far, I think they've done a pretty good job. And if they could definitely determine how to deliver, 
I think it would definitely be profitable for the two to partner. The project is said to still be in the early stages. So the final design of what we're seeing now with the few pictures that we got could very well change. Imagining a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle that's fully electric, stylish, luxurious, and innovating is definitely another site to look forward to. Then there's Ashton Martin, the British sports car manufacturer, who introduced a design study named the Volante Vision that offers space for three passengers arranged in a triangular configuration. The company mentioned that actually Rolls-Royce would power the Volante Vision's powertrain. Ashton Martin also partnered with Cranfield University and Cranfield Aerospace Solutions to develop this concept. They stated that this aircraft would be an autonomous hybrid VTOL, unlike any of the other EVTOLs on the market. And I'm thinking just like all the other supercar manufacturers on this list that we looked at today with Rolls Royce and Porsche, due to the fact that Ashton Martin, Porsche, and Rolls Royce are some of the most makers of the most luxurious vehicles on the market that we know of today, they wanted their designs to stand out. And that's something we definitely see with this Volante vision. Anyway, if you believe the hype surrounding the eVTOL flying car, flying taxi future, then the not so distant electric future is definitely not boring and so much to look forward to. But that wraps up the list. If you like this video and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.